Hello everyone, today I'm going to break down one of my latest works and show you how to animate any painting using basic instruments of motion design. We will divide it into simple steps, we will import the image into Photoshop and make some adjustments, then we create an animation in Adobe After Effects. In the end, we are going to utilize Cinema 4D for the additional animation like sails and ropes. Open Photoshop and drag and drop our source image. Let's take the pen tool and start to trace parts you want to cut out from the background. Alternatively, you can use lesser tool if you need to. Keep in mind that pen tool lets you make adjustments anytime later though. To fix some points, use point selection tool. Make the selection of the contour and press to create a mask. Repeat all the previous steps as much as you need. More elements are present on the image, more you got work to do. On the next step we are going to paint over the empty areas of our image using stamp tool. I recommend to paint on an empty layer for convenience. It's a good rule of thumb to use soft brush with zero hardness in such case. Move the cursor to the area you want to take pixels from, use Alt-click to confirm your source pixels. Let's double check our results and move forward. Now let's bring our files to the After Effects as layers. Animation is the most interesting part of the work. Feel free here to do whatever you want. First things first, I created Rain using CC, Rain and Fill effects. Camera is animated using Wiggle Expression for Illusion of Storm. Then I grouped objects in the scene and placed them in 3D space. I use combination of keyframes and expressions like loop out, time and wiggle to work faster. As you can see I removed completely birds from the image and created them from scratch using shape layers in After Effects. Water is animated using an effect called turbulent displays. There are no sails and ropes yet, it's going to be the next stage. Here is a small tip how to create watercolor-like reveal in After Effects. I use this method in this work. Create new composition and new text layer or other media you want to reveal. Create solid and circle mask, feather it out as much as it looks good, animate mask pass. Add on top rough and edges effect. Duplicate our layer a few times. Procompose them and use a sluma mask. The key to right look is duplicating main animation, lowering opacity and offsetting it a few frames ahead. Final step, Cinema 4D. Let's return Photoshop for a quick and export our sales as separate files. Choose PNG as it has an alpha channel. Open Cinema 4D. I'm currently using R23 version. Create plane, size doesn't matter and make it editable. Create standard material and load our cell texture to color in an alpha channel. Apply the material to the plane. Add close tag to it and adjust settings as you wish. Fix sales using fix points feature in close tag settings. Repeat all the previous steps.
For convenience, we are going to use the Take system. It's a really powerful and useful tool inside Cinema 4D. Create free takes for each sale and press Auto Record. Just hide and unhide elements for viewport and rendering both. Time to export our animation. The best way is to export it as PNG sequence with alpha. Don't forget to add take token in rendering tab. It's time to create the ropes. Create a new Cinema 3D document matching size of our source image. Create a new camera. Also create a new background object and apply our source image as a texture to it. Basically we are creating a visual guide for ourselves. The ropes we are going to create using similar technique, but this time it will be spline dynamics. Cylinder and primitives will serve as masts and splines as ropes. Subdivide splines to create more points. Let's make a sweep out of our splines. Create a standard black material and apply it to our objects. Add Spline Dynamics tag on top and adjust it as you need. Now fix some points. Create wind and adjust it to your needs. Crank up the turbulence and strength. Export settings are the same as in previous step. Now let's get back to After Effects and import our renders from C4D. Don't forget to import sequences with the right FPS. Place them as it is originally on the image. Done! So now you know how to animate any painting using the basic instruments of motion design. As always, it depends on your creativity and sky is the limit. See ya!